All right, so we are hopping into a game with the lizard cult here. Uh oh. Okay, <laughs> this thing went red for a second. Okay, so we're hopping into a game with the lizard cult against the Marquise, the Erie, and the Riverfolk Company on the winter map here. Okay, this is actually great. Uh, this is a great start for us because the Erie will be starting in this top left corner here. And that means we're going to get our pick of these two mouse clearings. Obviously, I'm going to take the one with the two building slots so I can establish a second garden there on turn one. That That's a great way to start off the game. I also have two sword crafts, so taking that uh, central fox clearing would be really nice. Got to get my hands on a fox card first, though. Let's take a quick look at the River Folk hand before the game starts. They've got Royal Claim, Tax Collector, and Investments. Uh, tax Collector and Investments could be useful purchases at some point. Currently, I don't think we need them, though. And the Eerie going to select the Despot, and we're obviously going to build our garden in the bottom left here. And as far as the initial outcast, I didn't think about that, but it doesn't really matter. But fox looks like it could be a good one. Good to have a fox outcast. I don't know why, because it doesn't really matter. All right, cool, cool, cool. So the Riverfolk have set their prices for everything f to two, but we are going last in the turn order, which really stinks as the Lizards. Uh, we're going to have a lot of ground to make up. A good thing that we have a, uh, a decent starting hand, you know. Cats decided to go in this bottom part, uh, but one of the bottom corners on the winter map, which is something I really hadn't considered. Um, I just always thought that setting up the keep here and establishing a second choke point would be really good to keep these two clearings defended from basically everyone but the Vagabond. Um, but let me know what you guys, what do you guys think about that, uh, bottom right keep there? I'm, I'm not seeing how it's, could be better than any of these other options or any of these top two options, but um, let me know if I'm missing something. All right, Eerie. Pretty basic turn there. They did go with a suited recruit, though, so that's something to keep in mind. <laughs> the good thing for them is, though, they have three straight bunny roosts, so it's probably going to be hard to turmoil them on recruit unless we do a full board wipe. I'm going to guess they bought Royal Claim. They did, in fact, buy a royal claim. I think I'm going to buy a card as well, just to guarantee that I get that uh, fox card off the bat. And then I've got a card of each suit to work with. Yeah, I think that's a, a good place to start. And we'll be getting our two draws per turn immediately since we started with a mouse card, which is really nice as well. Alternatively, we could buy a, the second mouse card and instantly score. Hmm. I think it's better to immediately start establishing our presence in this fox clearing because it seems like the Eerie are going to want to go towards this rabbit clearing, 
and the cats are going to want to try and meet them there and slow them down. So while they're doing that, we need to establish ourselves in this clearing. And by the time the dust settles or, you know, they decide, oh, maybe we should go down to the left side of the map, I'm going to already have entrenched myself in that central clearing. Building a recruiter, nice. Okay, no, no second sawmill. See what the river folk go for here. They might change their hand price as well. I hope they don't though, because I would like to purchase that tax collector. Okay, so interesting. He decided he wants all four of his otters to be in the same spot, which he could have just done if he started them on a group. Um, Otter ball, I feel like is just the strategy. Okay, let's check out their hand. They've got a favor already. That's really bad. Um, we don't want the otters crafting a favor at all. Uh, we'll go ahead and buy the tax collector, though. We didn't even check the price. Okay, it was two. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, let's let's do our rituals here and let's build. In this clearing, reveal our sword card. And then we can go ahead and sacrifice by revealing the bird card. Then we'll recruit in this central fox, revealing the tax collector that we just purchased. And then let's see, do we want to reveal the last card we have? I feel like it's not worth it. Like a recruit out there is not that powerful. So let's just go ahead and skip it. We don't need it. Now let's see what we draw. Another mouse card. Ooh, two mouse cards. That is great. Um, man. Uh, I wish the... Was anything even discarded to change the... Yeah, it was. Okay. Um, well, right now, this is not worth anything to us. So let's discard that one. Decent first turn. We've got a good hand set up, it looks like, though. Here's a question. Is it worth it to go... No, it's not. There's no way. Because we'd need four mouse gardens and we're just not getting that there's no way i was gonna say is it worth going for the top right but there's only one build slot right we don't get a set yeah we would need to get two more buildings to even be scoring one extra point per score we just gotta sit on these guys and make sure the river folk don't craft that favor okay interesting the eerie actually came down this way rather than grabbing a third bunny roost and they put battle in the decree which is great for us yeah I'll, I'll take that all day free acolytes love me some free acolytes here comes the marquise see what she has planned for her second turn what does the birds agree look like again oh fox battle is interesting it's a good thing there's a cat um we might have to feed the otters one more time if they have a fox card because we really need we really need another warrior if we're gonna justify putting a garden there
Solid turn for the cats, but they did go for overwork and didn't build a sawmill. They just built another recruiter. So interesting strategy. All right, Otter's going to establish a trade post. Hopefully they draw some cards and hopefully they draw a fox card. Oh, well, they're just going to put down a trade post. That's fine. Let them jump out to the early lead. Oh, <laughs> true. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, they, they have quite the early lead now. Okay, okay. Uh, we don't want the hand card. Although, here's the thing. I think we do want the hand card, right? Because not only is it a mouse card, it's the mouse favor. And I don't want the otters getting any ideas with that. But I don't want to overfeed them either. Hmm, that's tricky. Like, they, they already have nine points. I think I'll wait. If they start getting more threatening, then I'll, then I'll think about it. But for now, I think I think I wait. We'll decline. We've got Hated Outcast, okay. Oh, and a Dominance is available. Okay, so that's pretty big for us. Um... Okay, so conspiracies. Do we want to do any rabbit conspiracies? I don't think so. Let's just skip them. And then let's... Definitely we want to score. Score with this. And then I think I think we dominant swap double recruit. And then we can use the other two mouse cards to recruit as well. And then hopefully we can crusade to s on the next turn to sort of even out everything out. But yeah, let's claim the dominance. So let's discard the bird, claiming the fox dominance. Okay. And then what we will do is recruit, revealing this card. Okay, timer, I get it, I get it, man. Recruiting this clearing again. All right, jeez, jeez, jeez. And then we've revealed Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, we don't need any more lizards than we have right there in that clearing. So now those can be... Oh, another dominance. That's great. Although it is the bunny, and I don't really need bunny cards right now. So as much as it pains me, I'll just get rid of it. And now it's in the supply if I ever need it, which is nice. Man, that, uh, they definitely updated how the timer works, and man, it just kept going. It just kept yelling at me. Like, I knew, I knew I was taking a bit, but I didn't feel like I was taking that long. Lizards are kind of complicated, man. So, our next turn seems fairly straightforward. We're going to be... Okay, well, actually, as long as the outcast is not bunny, I'd like it to change. So hopefully someone discards one card that isn't a bunny at any point, and then I'll either have the ability to craft a root T or a sword at the end of my turn. Because I'm planning on building two uh, fox gardens. And it doesn't look like Eerie can really screw me over in that regard. It looks like they're going to have to... Oh, but they have fox... Well, they can battle the one cat for their fox battle. Okay, I keep talking and not... Okay, they did a bird move. Interesting. Solid. 
Yep, that works. I'll go ahead and battle the cats. Yeah, I'm thinking to cut down the length of my videos a bit. I'll just, like I've been showing every single thing that happens, but sometimes like what happens is not very interesting. Like that turn for the birds, no disrespect to the birds, but nothing really happened. They moved around a bit, recruited one bird, did one battle, removed one warrior and built a roost. I could honestly just show you guys this current board state and you'd probably be able to fill in what happened. Um... I don't know though. I kind of feel like it's still important to show the goings on, or else what's well, even the point of making the video to begin with? Uh, here's the thing with crafting brute tea or sword though. I oh, know, never mind. There's nothing wrong with it. Because I was going to say, like, using them, like, their mouse cards and I don't have the mouse dominance available to me yet and so using them now would mean I have fewer mouse cards down the road but either way they're worth two points whether I craft them now or score them later so we're just gonna hope that I get a different outcast suit because there's oh oh right I discarded those so I I did my own I made my own lost souls that way so then let's just hope that uh, no one ties it. I don't think the Marquise can tie it unless they go over their hand limit. Dang. That was aggressive. They took out three otter. Oh, and they're just going at it again. Wow. I mean, I don't really necessarily blame them for thinking that that's the the thing to do because the otters did jump out to that early lead. They didn't have any funds sitting, did they? Yeah, it loses zero funds. Okay. But, like, see, the problem is now the cats are... They're slower to uh, ramp up as we are as we start to approach the mid game here uh they do have the bird card though so hawks for hire is an option they need a second sawmill like desperately desperately need a second sawmill I currently have just a modest two acolytes, so I'm just probably going to stockpile them for most of the game until I get a turn where I can unleash a bunch of them on Hated. Right now it doesn't seem worthwhile. What did they draw? Another bird. I don't think it's worth buying for a bird. I've got the cards I need for my turn right here. Another draw. Oh, two draws. Another sword. Now that could be worth investing in. A purchase of a sword. We'll see, though. We'll again wait. Did they have to... Oh, they had to discard. No, they didn't. Okay, what's their price? Still two. Okay, they haven't changed them. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and decline for this turn, though. And then, okay, we've got a Mouse Outcast, and we can choose Mouse Conspiracies if we wish. I don't think any of them make sense. Let's go ahead and skip it. Okay, so now we can build here by revealing our Fox Dominance. We can build there again using Tax Collector, right? 
and then we can score with code breakers. Clean two points. Uh, I don't think we need to recruit. We've got six guys there. That's enough. We can hold on to the cards uh, in case we want to recruit them later. Let's go ahead and craft the root T. Snag ourselves a clean two more points while we have the ability to do so. And that way we won't be losing too many cards. Okay, good draws. Um, hmm. This is interesting. I'm going to discard the fox, I think, because I have two birds. And I can use them between sacrificing and claiming the fox dominance. I think that's the play. That makes sense to me. Okay, I, I like where we're at because now we're now we're going to be able to keep pace. We can recruit every turn with tax collector and the fox, or at least the next two turns till we're up to six. Score with fox dominance. We just gotta hopefully get that uh, mouse dominance in play. Fox recruit. Okay. See what those birds got for us. Good craft. Recognizing that they need more recruits on the board as well. They're spread pretty thin. No more than two birds guarding any one roost. Although none of them are in immediate danger. But people could, you know, decide to turn on the aggression at any time. And by people I mean the cats currently. Because the otters uh, took a lot of damage from the cats. Uh-oh. I think they might be battling me. Uh, but I don't think they realize that if they do that, they'll turmoil. Yeah. Yep, not an option this turn. If they had two battles and they rolled really well, maybe. But unfortunately, not on this turn. Not going to be a viable strategy. Actually, that really stinks. They can send... Nah, they they would turmoil here. They will turmoil here unless they go back to their rec recruiting and recruit that one bird they recruited here over here. Then they'd have to move all three over here for a tie, send one warrior from this roost to their death in this clearing for the fox battle. Yeah, they're, I think that's what they're going to do. I don't know. I don't know if, it, if it's that worth it to avoid turmoil, but we'll see. Because the decree they have is pretty scuffed. Two different suited recruits and a suited battle. It's pretty unsustainable. Okay, that was not the move I was expecting. And now they can't take it back because they initiated a battle. Did it against the cats, didn't want to give me an acolyte, fine. Yep, and there's the turmoil. That stinks. Okay, well, they had three bird cards, so they're going to drop down from six to three. They've got to choose a new leader. Hopefully, they have a solid hand. Okay, well, I don't I don't particularly like that, uh, having to go up against the commander as the lizards. Although, I will get at least um, some good acolytes if I get battled. That's the word. I feel like I never draw ambush cards, ever, when I play Brute. I really, 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 really would like to flash an ambush card at the Eerie this turn when I'm re revealing, when I'm revealing, so that it might deter them from attacking me. I feel like they probably still will anyway, but anything I can do to dissuade them would be helpful. Really, let's look at this lizard guy here. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Cards are kind of cool too. Okay, they're gonna overwork.
They have played this entire game with one sawmill. Seems incredibly unsustainable. Incredibly unsustainable. Remind ourselves of the river folks hand. They have that uh, extra mouse card if we end up needing it. Looks like our outcast is gonna end up being Fox. Oh yeah, for sure. Unless the river folk discard like all their Fox cards from their hand at the end of their turn. Uh, I'm fine with that because I can craft the sword. Man, I would really like uh, to receive I oh, know I'm not going to be crafting the sword. I'm going to be scoring regardless. Actually, no. It would make more sense to craft the sword so that one sword is removed from the supply. Uh-oh. Otters and the Marquise have a bit of a grudge match. Man, they really have a grudge match going. Yeah, I'll just I'll just pull out the popcorn, and watch from the sidelines, casually score my four points a turn. I don't think I want any more gardens on this. As tempting as it is, to like you know try and grab this fox clearing, get a. Uh, or try to get the favor of the foxes and destroy the keep, destroy that bird roost. Don't think it's worth it. Uh, it's an overextension and could end up with me being punished for it. So we'll see. We've got uh, fox conspiracies. We still only have the two acolytes, so that doesn't seem like a good plan. So we'll skip those. And then we can go ahead and perform the scoring ritual with... The dominance card and then we can recruit with the fox card the tax collector and then we'll go ahead and do a double sacrifice and that way the bird cards are available next turn for claiming dominance should we need it and we're not going to score the sword we're actually going to craft it because we want to reduce the ability for someone like the otters. I know they don't have any fox trading posts, but this play makes the most sense to me to actually craft the sword. And so that if they were going to be able to craft the sword, maybe I'll craft a second one before they get the chance to. And then they won't be able to get those two points. Let's see what cards we draw here. Okay. Um, a bunny card is like almost always useless here. I don't see any reason for us to hang on to bunny cards. I just really hope the mouse dominance gets discarded soon. That's all we need and we have the perfect setup. Assuming they purchased a... They didn't purchase a bird card? Oh no. Why? Why did they purchase a fox card for their decree? For the recruit decree at that? Oh no. I was like, yeah, that's good. You can get a. And they. Oh, okay. I guess. I guess that works. Here's the thing. Like, I don't want to establish myself as too much of a front runner, but I feel like it's inevitable if I'm going to continue scoring at the rate I'm scoring. So maybe I slow it down just a tad, and that way I stall the game until I can get the mouse dominance, and then we really get rolling. Then we're off to the races. I'm thinking maybe... Thinking maybe... 
We keep the we keep the bird cards and we just use them to consistently dominant swap. But um As far as the other ones go, I can score I can score the mouse and hold off on scoring. Well, I'm gonna score with the fox dominant, so I can use the fox card to recruit again. So never mind. Um uh, but then scoring with the mouse will put a target on my back, I feel like, because then I'll be at 14 points. Which will likely be at least two or three ahead of second place. If the rest of this uh, turn goes the way I think it will. You're moving that uh, Riverfolk trade post. Yeah, so 14 would be four ahead of the Eerie. Um, and how many can the cats get? I guess they're just going to keep building recruiters. Okay, so it wouldn't be like super far ahead of the cats if they build another recruiter. If they build a sawmill, then it would be. Let's see, they're still only getting one wood per turn. They've got one build slot left among territory they can that they control. They can expand to that lower fox clearing and claim that clearing. But that's where I'd want to have the recruiter, if anything. Crafting the bag for a point. Yeah, I, I think I should just score the card because... Um, if not, I might end up having to discard it because of the hand limit, and I'm drawing three cards per turn right now. Got to get the points while the going is good. Eventually, the table is going to hit us regardless. And so before we lose, like, all of our gardens on one turn and all of our cards in our hand as a result, and then basically have a dead turn, I'm just going to score while I have my moment in the sun. Where is that mouse dominance? I wish I could see like how thin the deck is because like it tells you in the action log if the deck is reshuffled but like I don't want to scroll through and see if that happened I feel like it's too early for that to have happened certainly certainly yeah there's no way Cats could be holding on to it for an actual dominance play as well. Because, like, look at the board. If I don't have... If I don't have, um... The correct outcast suit, I can't really stop them. I'm surprised they actually... If they had it, I think they would have played it this turn. Because the otters are all but... I oh know, this clearing's not bulked up enough. But the otters are all but eliminated from the board. Um currently how many funds do they have actually four okay and the eerie is still low a low threat low threat level therefore continuing to pull through the deck they're gonna actually have to use some of these cards is the thing though Or not. Bird ambush, though. Okay, so... Uh, well, it largely depends on what uh, gets discarded by the river folk here. But there's a good chance we still have fox outcast. Let's see. Oh, hand card at four? Never mind. I was about to say, maybe I could... Oh, they discarded it anyway. Yeah. Don't want that. Hated Fox Outcast, huh? Um, Hated Fox Outcast. Hated Fox Outcast. I could... Destroy the Eerie Roost with Sanctify and Recruit there. Again, seems like an overextension. I'm just going to hold my warriors for now so that when I need them for crusading, I have them available for that. Um, and then I guess the first thing we'll do is just claim the... Claim. Oh, we're not in daylight yet. Got to skip the conspiracies. 
and then okay, let's do this first. Let's score two points. Claim with this guy fox dominance. And then we score the fox dominance. Right, right, right. Double sacrifice here. Yep, we'll do it twice. And then a cheeky recruit here in the central fox. Uh, we have the ability to craft armorers. Let's do that on the off chance it saves us from getting a garden destroyed. Because at this point, uh, six, uh, we got another bird card as well. Six, um, whatchamacallums, you know what I mean. Acolytes. Man, they are still ponying up. I would please refrain. They Now they have eight funds. I don't want to get completely bullied by the otters in this end game. But like I was saying, yeah, six six acolytes is plenty. Uh, I don't really need more than that. And now I'm hurting for mouse cards is the only thing. Using the command warrant to battle. What did they add to their... Oh, jeez. A double-suited recruit again. Like, I could turmoil them at any time. Well, at most times, if the outcast is, is uh, favorable now. Um, just, like, wouldn't be in my best interest because I, I want the board to be competitive. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. I've actually never seen that animation come up. Wow, that was really slick. Wait, is that maybe that's a new animation? That was really slick. Okay, guys. We got to stop the birds. not gonna tell the other players to try and help me influence the lost souls into bunny yet ah The cats could simply just move a bunch of warriors into a clearing. Never mind. Well done.
Good play. Wasn't expecting that because he's. It took him so long to get his second Salma, but yeah, that was a good play. That was all his actions? Oh, they recruited first. Recruit, move, or recruit, march for that sweet double move, and then a battle. Alright, so it's looking like we're actually going to rotate back to a Fox Outcast here. I mean, it, it comes down to the Otters, of course, and they're going to have plenty of draws, so let's not even think about what it's currently going to be. And I have tons of acolytes. Riverfolk currently only have one warrior on the board, and I know they have like five. Yeah, they could, they could just recruit their ball back up. And it seems like that's what they're going to do. Okay, just the one. I mean, if they had an ambush, they would have shown it on the last battle, unfortunately, because it's digital. But if they had an ambush, that would have been an unfortunate waste of two funds for the otters. Okay, so now this game is getting to be in a weird spot. Oh, now we've both got armorers. Okay. They crafted better borough bank, right? Let's check their prices. Okay, they, they dropped it to three, and they do have better borough bank. Okay. Uh, hand cards. Favor of the mice. The question is, do I want to give them three warriors? No. I really don't want to give them three warriors for two points. I think we can skate by for now without doing that. We've got the hated fox outcast as well. Um... Yeah, I think uh, this is hard because I want to convert these three cats, right? I want to convert the three cats and then, yeah, I want to convert the three cats and then build a garden, but I feel like that could be an overextension. Nah, probably not. Uh, but maybe we haven't seen favor of the foxes anywhere in the deck anyone could be holding on to it except the otters obviously was the deck ever reshuffled did I miss it getting discarded all right let, let's not worry too much about it for now uh, I think that's the play though let's convert one two, three, yeah, yep, 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 skip any more conspiracies, and then we will, man, geez, let, let's calm down here, recruit, okay, okay, Build. Okay, okay. Claim with this one. Dude, I know, I know. Score. Oh, this is going to be so annoying if this is just how it is now. I don't like that. And then... Uh, 
Is this our turn? I don't need the other cards or anything. Yeah. We'll skip that. Craft the crossbow for a point. Could be a mistake because we might not get a bird at this. Okay, that's fine. We'll take the mouse and we'll be fine with the mouse. I would really like, yeah, because we don't we don't necessarily need the bird for uh, fox dominant swapping right now. While we have uh, three fox cards in our hand. Oh, the command Warren. Yep. Extra hit from the commander. Yeah, I, I think the birds are out of the game, unfortunately. I don't see any way for them to get those roosts and hold on to them. Oh no, they t oh the otters turmoiled them. Well, they don't lose points. They do have to pick a new leader though, which stinks. And builder is not going to help them. Yeah. Builder is not going to help them when they can't score points. Honestly, with Charismatic, though, they might be able to pull it off. Because they could get, like, six in the two outer clearings and seven in the center one. And then they'd have seven presents in each one. But, again, all it takes is just one ball of cats to move in and do one battle and hopefully remove enough guys. And if it doesn't, they just battle again. And then if that doesn't work, the otters recruit, and then they come and try. And then if that doesn't work, I have the failsafe of sanctifying a roost, and then I just rule the garden. Or rule the clearing, not rule the garden. Using the garden, I rule the clearing. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we're going to be gaining... Another four points on our turn. If it stays fox, it looks like it's going to be rabbit right now. And for, oh yeah, almost certainly. And I did admittedly discard a rabbit, um, but that's fine. We don't have to craft a sword. We can just score the mouse card. Uh-oh. Are the cats coming to claim their land back? Yes, they are. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay, well. If it's really bad, we just ignore it. Instantly field hospitaling there. Battling again is not uh, terrible. Better Burrow Bank. There's the favor of the foxes. There it is. I don't care how many warriors they set. 
their price is at. If they don't discard it, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it, and I'm going to bide my time. Oh, but then they'll know I have it, and then they'll... Uh, then they'll know I have it, and they'll destroy one of my gardens before I get the chance to influence the outcast back to Fox. Let's see. Let's see. I don't think there's any way it goes Fox. No. No way. Now they've got a full hand. Well, now they have to discard one card. They'll probably discard the favor, though. Crafting the other stack of coins. Oh, that didn't get a point sound. It's weird. Another card. Another card. Jeez. Ah, bunch of mice. Is there any way would we would that we would benefit from this? No. So let's decline it. Okay, so bunny conspiracies not really appealing to us. We're gonna go ahead and skip those. Okay, so the first thing I'm actually going to do here is I've been dominant swapping bird cards so that I can get the fox dominance. What I'm actually going to do here is swap a fox card for the fox dominance, which is still useful because now you'll see uh, down here that it's in the discard pile and the lost souls is now stacked even further towards being fox on the next turn which is really good. Um, and then I think we want to recruit here twice. And the reason for that is mm, actually seven versus four and two buildings. Now let's just do one because if the cats get wise to it and buy river boats, then that would be a less defended clearing. Let's just keep it more evenly distributed and then we'll score with the sword. And no need to use this rabbit card. Okay, let's see what we draw. Okay, useless bunny cards. Uh, we'll get rid of Cobbler, since the other one's craftable. We can hold on to it so that other people don't get it when the deck is reshuffled. At least for this turn. Where has that mouse dominance been literally all game? <laughs> Have we just not gone to it and it's at the bottom of the deck? I feel like the river folk's gone through enough of the deck at this point. Bird move, man. They love the bird moves. Command Warren, trying to like watch the game and go through to see if the deck was reshuffled. Doesn't look like it was. Yeah, I don't think it was. All right, so now the bird's going to be back on their dominance agenda here. And we just need them to not win on dominance on this turn. Uh, the nice thing is if we 
uh, if it comes down to it, we can crusade at them as long as it uh, stays as a fox outcast. Yeah, the worst case scenario is the cats do nothing about it, the otters do nothing about it, and then it gets pinned on me to stop the game because I'm the leader, which will probably happen. Stop the dominance play. Um, and then it will come down to dice rolls, really. Because once I'm in that rabbit clearing, they can't go anywhere. I've just got to fight with them and hope that I can defeat enough birds to claim the clearing as my own. Oh no, the cats are going to stop it for me. Awesome. Yeah, honestly, if I'm cats in this position, I'm just letting the lizards deal with it because the lizards are leading. Uh, even though the lizards have a bit of a harder time with it, that's no excuse really, right? Because as cats are in last place, um, and who does it really, uh, who really cares who you lose to, whether it's the birds or the lizards, right? It's in your best interest to try and force the lizards to waste their turn stopping the birds because it's in the lizards best interest because otherwise they'll lose when they're currently in a winning position. And then that will give you the cats a turn and probably the otters as well, assuming they follow the same strategy to catch up. So that's just my thought process there. Um, and if I, as the lizards, you know, either don't stop dominance well enough or I like blank and I forget about it, uh, oh well, you were probably losing anyway if you didn't get that turn to get back into the game. So. That, that is, in my opinion, how you want to handle stopping dominance as a table. Because now that that's taken care of, I just score my four points this turn. Um, score my four points plus a Sanctify next turn, assuming I draw a mouse card, and I'm gold and the game's over. There's always the chance that someone attacks me um, because they realize I have way too many points. The Otters have been playing incredibly passive though. They've just been milling through the deck and uh, trying to craft stuff, but they've only crafted it through coin stacks, which has accounted for 40% of their current points. Better Burrow Bank, great card. S tier card, some would say. Oh, cheeky. Man, he is just they're just ignoring me. <laughs> Blow up the foxes. I'm assuming I'm assuming he means lizards in the fox clearing, but um Yeah, I mean, he's got the funds to do it. Yeah. They've been going back and forth all game. <laughs> Cats did start it, but at this point, the Outer's got to put the beef aside because as the third party, I am uh, coming out to the clear lead. And there's still a chance I lose this to the Otters, by the way. Like, by no means is this game over because not only did I go last, the Outers have... Uh, a lot of funds right now at their disposal and so I'm kind of screwed if they draw the item cards that they want and have the ability to craft them oh blow up the fox is he saying do favor of the foxes he's only got one trade post fortunately in fox and he won't be able to place, he actually won't be able to place enough because I rule two fox clearings and without my funds, he won't be able to place them unless he removes my gardens first, in which case 
that the work of the favor is done by battling me off the board. Man, the otters and the cats not getting along well in this game. I've just, I don't know how they're letting me fly by under the radar. Like, it clearly says that I'm in the lead. Okay, well, now I'm tied for the lead. But I've also had one fewer turn than everyone else. Otters got anything else nice to craft? Nope. Anything actually left to craft? A sword and a hammer. And a couple boots. Okay. All right. Well, this... Um, Seems straightforward enough. Ah, we actually ended up with uh, Bunny Outcast, or Mouse Outcast, which is unfortunate. Or no, Bunny Outcast, yeah. Which is unfortunate. Um, although it doesn't mean the end of the world. The only outcast we actually don't want next turn is Fox, funnily enough. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Choose a conspiracy, you know? Let's actually do a crusade here. We'll get into this fox clearing. We'll build there. We'll score for three points instead. Yeah, I think that's the the maneuver here. They don't have an ambush, do they? Ah, they do. Never mind. We will not be doing any such crusading. Uh because I don't want to lose all my lizards and then have my garden get blown up. Although the otters would have to fight their way out, but with the number of funds they have, they would be able to do so easily. Ugh, I'm just I'm just worried about misplaying this because I don't want to lose to the otters next turn with the amount of funds they have. They'll have seven, assuming no one buys from them. Shoot. Okay, skip conspiracies. They'll have seven, assuming no one buys from them. Um, crap. Man, the turn timer, like, actually being a turn timer now, like, hurts a lot. <laughs> okay, we'll score this. Uh, score this. Don't need to think about it too, too hard. Um, and then we actually don't really need the other cards, I think, because all we can do with them is recruit. Uh, and we have only three lizards left in the supply. Next turn, if we have the cards we need, we should be good. Although, let's just do it to be safe. Why not? Let's just do it to be safe. We get a couple more lizards in here. End the turn. One lizard left in the supply. Oh my gosh, man. I'm running out of time. Wait, it's counting on my discard as well? Uh, discard this one. Sheesh. Whew. Okay, and we got a mouse card. So now all we got to do is hang in there. No ambush uh, for the whole game. Um, would be nice right about now. But we just got to hang in there and uh, get the last uh, two scores that we need. And it's great because the Eerie can't win on this turn, and they're going to be preoccupied with a dominance win. Trying to achieve a dominance win. And uh, the Cats, well, the
the cats will probably be attacking me. Maybe the otters as well. But at least the Eerie won't be. At least it won't be a 3v1. The otters might try and just win outright. Because, again, they're going to have seven funds. Nothing to craft right now. But if they get lucky draws, two from hammer. They need, they need another fox trade post and then two from hammer, two from sword. They actually literally can't place a second fox trade post. So, because of the two, they'd have to go and battle first. I don't think that they, they don't have the funds required to recruit enough and then battle enough and then build the trade post and then craft it. Yeah, there's no way. Um, so I think their their thing is going to just be to come fight me. Eerie almost making it so the cats have to worry. They just have to make sure not to move out of there. Four wood accumulated at the keep. The cats could... Uh, get a lot of stuff built here unfortunately it doesn't look like it's going to be quite enough I feel like the cats player has been holding on to their mouth the mouse dominance card all game just as like I can pull this out at the last second at the last ditch effort and try to win I feel like that's the case because why else wouldn't it be in the supply by the end of the game and the otters haven't have it, had it and I, it hasn't been in an eerie decree I don't think the mouse has even touched their decree once it must have been in the cat's hand this entire time. I think that I think what they're doing right now is thinking about whether or not they should play it. Uh, okay, there we go. See, I think they're. Yeah, so now they're saying the Eerie Dominance is someone else's problem. I'm just going to get my points. This is what I think they should have done last turn. But I, I like the I like that uh, that play. And it looks like they're going to build a workshop as well to snag an easy two. I'm not sure about the mentality of just score as many points as I can before the game ends. They probably should have like actually tried to battle me. Um... Although it is intimidating, I know I have five warriors in every clearing minimum where I have a garden. Okay, they weren't going for as many points possible because they didn't build a workshop. So they're still playing for their next turn, which is good. Uh, but one way or another, there won't be a next turn because either I'll be able to score or I won't be able to stop Eerie Dominance, <laughs> one or the other, unless I get... Um, Rabbit, Rabbit Outcast, or Fox Outcast plus good rolls. I think the Otters are going to devote their turn to smacking the heck out of me. Let's see if I'm correct. Wait, they think that birds are going to win? Or are they... Do the otter... What? Oh, he has a favor. Yep. Yep, I should have brought... I should have bought that. Yep. Well played. What, what was up with that? <laughs> Otters one point from the victory there. Little do they know.
All right, uh, I'm gonna run out of time, so let's just start playing. Um, the obvious thing to do first. Wait, it's Fox. Oh, I win! I win. Right? There's nothing for me to even sanctify. Um, so I guess skip. Yeah, by evening I win, for sure. Uh, let's claim that. Score. That was a really fun game. That ended up being a really fun game. I won with a favor, which is not my favorite way to win, but okay. The, the outcast pulling through to Fox when I needed it the most. What an ending. I th that game ended up so much closer than I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, I totally forgot to uh, purchase that favor because it was in there from turn one. And I was like, okay, I'll buy the favor at some point. Otters might be able to craft it and destroy my garden. And then I just forgot to. Um, they did it there at the end and scared the heck out of me. And I thought that was a good game to birds. Uh after all that, because the table had ignored them in favor of trying to, you know, do their own thing, uh, which is the right play in that situation. Um, but man, that was a super, super, super tight game. And, uh, you know, I didn't think much of it in the middle. I was like, oh, you know, like, this is fine. No one's really attacking me. So I'm kind of just, you know, doing well. Um, but man, that was a that was a, a way to get the heart pump in there at the end. Um, I am one for one on digital with the lizards, uh, and one for one on the channel. And I don't know if I'll ever be recording another lizard video for the channel. If I do, it'll probably be like a challenge video, or if I ever start streaming, you know, who knows how for many months or years down the line then maybe we'll see the lizards again, but, um, I'm glad to, uh, to possibly go out undefeated on the channel with the lizards. <laughs> All right, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video.